Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, of no man anything, but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Art thou being called a servant? Care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freedom. Likewise, also he that is called being free, is Christ's servant. Ye are bought with a price, be not ye the servants of men. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, and know all mysteries and all knowledge, but if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophecy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both now to be abased, and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness. By the man whom he has ordained, he has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. But not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision, for we are in the circumcision, which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Jesus Christ, and have no confidence in the flesh. 
We walk by faith, not by sight. There is nothing love cannot face. There is limit to its faith, its hope and endurance. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For I through the law died to the law that I might live to God, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. Brethren, be not children in understanding, howbeit in malice by ye children, but in understanding be men, who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, now not chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Let this be mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in a fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. For I verily, as absent in body, but present in spirit, have judged already, as though I were present, concerning him that hath so done this deed. If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies fulfill ye my joy, that ye can be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, 
thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeliness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yeah, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But what things were gain to me? those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Not as though I had already attained either were already perfect. But I follow after, if that I may comprehend, that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus.